you just keep doing whatever you think is working, and but you don't actually know what is working. You feel very upset with yourself that you didn't have the self-control. Sometimes I was mindful of what I was eating, but I had no willpower. Since the 1950s, scientists have looked at weight management through the homeostatic hunger lens. Homeostatic hunger is controlled by the hypothalamus, the part of the brain that tells us when to start and stop eating based on our blood sugar levels. In theory, this process should stop us from overeating, but we do overeat. The question is, why? Things like functional MRIs and PET scans have allowed us to take a look inside the human brain and see what's going on, not only in the hypothalamus with that homeostatic model, but other parts of the brain. And it's showing some really interesting findings. Enter the concept of hedonic hunger, or eating for pleasure. New research has uncovered that a person's appetite can be physiologically triggered by the sight, sound, smell, or even the thought of highly palatable foods. That is, foods that are most often high in sugar or fat. So how do you take control when you live in an obesogenic world that sends signals to eat at every corner and every minute? Every street that you go down, there are countless different fast food places or drive throughs If you're hungry, you can literally get food within probably two minutes. So even though you're full and you're saying, oh, I just can't handle it, we're gonna go for it because it's just so good, it looks so good, it looks so good. Yes, we all spend our lives in an environment that is encouraging us to eat, but we also have the ability to manage ourselves in whatever environment we face. Identifying hedonic hunger as a key driver of overeating is changing the way Canadians tackle their weight loss challenges. Control has to do with planning. It's learning those routines that when you are in an environment where you do not have as much control, you can still have an influence. Every single day you have to make conscious choices. You have to have those healthy things around you. Being able to control what's in your environment, whether it be at home or while you're you know, on the go. It becomes sort of part, of part of your habit. You know, you grab your purse, you grab your keys, you grab an apple and some almonds, and you're good to hit the road. Looking at my environment and really taking a whole 360 approach to everything was what was successful for me. To learn more about this exciting new research and how to put it to work for you, visit weightwatchers.ca.